Okay, so in this question, we are given that the function is holomorphic in an open unit disk, and the condition of the fun on the function is mod f of z is less than or equal to mod one upon mod z raised to five by two. So I will write it on the next page. So that condition mod f z is less than or equal to one upon mod z raised to five by two. In such a case, what is the standard trick that we do? Now we know that this 5.5 by 2 is 2.5, and what is the next integer? Uh, the next integer more than 2.5, so that is 3. So I will multiply both the sides by z cube, mod z cube, both the sides. And what happens because of that is that. So let me write it mod z raised to 5 by 2. So this will become mod z cube f z. Is less than or equal to what? Mod z raised to half. Okay. So now we, if I take limit on both the sides, what will happen? This limit will be less than or equal to. So I'll go on the next page. So when I take the limit of mod z z cube f z, that limit will become less than or equal to limit of mod z raised to half, and this limit is z tending to. Zero. What is this right hand side limit? The right hand side limit is zero. So this will become less than or equal to zero. But modulus is always greater than or equal to zero. So this will mean that limit of z cube f z will become zero. Now what is the meaning of this? If I look at this carefully, this is meaning that limit z tending to zero, z minus zero into z square f z. So I have separated one z outside. And that will be equal to zero. So what does this remind me? This reminds me of a theorem saying that if limit z tending to zero, z minus a into g z, if this is equal to zero, then this is nothing but this is meaning that z equal to a is what? Z equal to a is a removable singularity of g z. So who is working like a g z in this particular problem? Here, z square f z is working like g z in this problem. So from this uh, line, we conclude that z square f z, so z equal to zero, is a removable singularity of which function of the function z square f z. Okay, and if the if the function has a removable singularity at A point, then this means that the function is bounded in an, in that neighborhood. Okay, is bounded in the neighborhood of neighborhood of zero. Right. Now, not only that, if it has a removable singularity, so if z square if z has a removable singularity at z equal to zero, this means that. This function z square f z is an analytic function, and that analytic function can now be written as some g z, where g z is analytic function, or it's a holomorphic function in that open unit disk. And therefore, I can write that f z is equal to g z upon z square. So if f z becomes g z upon z square, what do you see in this particular function? In this function, you see that z equal to zero is a pool of order. of which function of the function f so i will try to show this uh, function how this function looks like now just have a look at this mod fz is less than or equal to mod 1 upon mod z raised to 5 by 2 if you look at the graphical way see this is actually this is actually a real number correct and this modulus of fz is also a real number now we all know that z is equal to x plus iy So mod z is square root of x square plus y square. Okay, so we will see a graphical representation of this inequality, so that you will understand how does a function looks, how does a function which satisfies this property should somehow look. So the graph of the function one, so this is x y plane, and this is the third is that real axis, blue color. So one upon x square plus y square should look like this. Because that as x y tends to zero, the graph will go to infinity, right? And if I look at the function, the function is less than this particular one upon x square plus y square raised raised to five by two and its square root. So 
so this is how the function should look like so the function is in the red color thing see look at this so this is how the function should look less than or equal to 1 upon mod z raised to 5 by 2 so this is how we are expecting i'll just show the function now to you so if i'll just look at the function this is the way i expect the function to be the function is defined on an open unit disk now here it is not open unit disk but it is less than the infinite region that blue infinite region that was there okay so i hope that now the entire graphical presentation is also understood and therefore we conclude that what are the correct options for this particular problem the option b is correct that z square fz is bounded in a neighborhood of zero and f also has a pole of order two so the options are b and c